them drop me! My earliest memories are of being nestled under blankets as my mother showed me the illustrations in a storybook about Loki the Larrikin, whose mischief always ended in disaster, though she was always one step ahead of her stern governess. I found the book tucked away years later after I learned to read, and I was surprised to learn that the storybook was full of little morality plays, not the comic tales my mother told. I wonder why she did that. Doggerel to amuse children, I see. No. Something more. I read this storybook to my son. Long ago. distant north have long been named among Gondor's allies, though I've never seen one in person. This cloak is as light as the morning fog on the shoulders. I tried it on once, and its colors seem to shift and blend as the light changes. How meager the product of our looms is when compared to elven handiwork. I recognize this cloak. It is of my people. A people we see precious few signs of in this land. Oh, shit. 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 O
I don't know if the future is written or unwritten. My mind could travel up and down these paths, and they were like memories. But like memory, the mind would shape them to suit its end. Are these not the same dangers as the Palantir, the Hydea? There is a risk in all these things, but wars are not won by the cautious. Got a surprise for you! Men and orcs have clashed for centuries. In living memory, the greatest battle between them took place near Long Lake, where men, aided by elves and dwarves, battled the orcs and goblins of Moria. The free folk won the day, and some accounts claim that eagles of the Misty Mountains swooped down onto the battlefield, casting the orcs down from the cliffs and mountains where they stood. Seems a fanciful tale. 
I saw no eagles overhead when Minisethel fell, though we did have Talion and his strange powers. We would have welcomed aid from anywhere, even the skies. The eagles of the Misty Mountains are more than a myth. Perhaps, but I doubt they'd fare well against the drakes I've seen. Ever seen a spider's web strung with dew? That is the web of fate. All possibilities hang in the balance, but as the sun rises and the wind blows, the dew drops fall, and history is revealed. Her visions reveal the truth, all of them. Would say you. Truth? I used to believe in truth. But it is a corrupted virtue in the hands of those like Shelob and Sauron.
Ranger. Kill it. Skin it. Yes, Only then will the Mandrake be properly avenged. Die! This artifact was a gift from Gondor's other frontier, the long beaches of Unfalus along Gondor's distant shores. Their lord, Galasgiel, sent us this ceremonial bowl with water from the river Morthond, and we kept the bowl long after the water had evaporated. I've often daydreamed of visiting Unfalus. I think I'd like it better than the capital city of Minas Tirith. There is too much of the frontier within me to be happy living in settled lands. This bowl is far from home, as are we all, Calabrimbo. Sayen. Away from the campfires! 
that must have really <laughs> You! Yeah. Maggot! Oh, just look at him. Look at him. Look at the anger, the power, the hate. <laughs> <laughs> on you and then I'm gonna get creative to run. He'll catch up, of course, and tear your guts out. But I'm just saying you got time. I'll have your head! Seethel is on Gondor's frontier, so we have few occasions for the grand balls and masquerades that are surely common events in the capital city. Fine dresses like this one are worn for ceremony, funerals and weddings mostly, not for lordly entertainment. I wonder if the noble families of Minas Tirith spared a thought for us, holding all of Mordor at bay while they danced. Another fine garment thoughtlessly cast away. Who in Mordor would wear such a thing in days like these? Nicely. Oh, yeah. 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 
It look like a gentle caress. The orcs are neither the only denizens of Mordor, nor the first. Easterlings and Haradrim have settled here from time to time, often at the Dark Lord's invitation. They are scarce today but one can still find their strange artistic carvings scattered in places from Nern to the city of the Corsairs. An artifact of the Herodrim. Interesting. You find their way this far north, and for that your nation should be grateful. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Greywalker! You think you can terrorize and torture your way across Mordor and no one will take you to task for it? Well, that ends now. Ends good and proper. Tasting good! We all get a nice 
tap time. <laughs> Gotta expect the unexpected. <laughs> Gondor's artisans rival the elves in their dedication, if not their skill. None more so than our weavers. Paint on a wall or canvas will fade in time, but thread retains its vibrant color for centuries. The Numenorians taught our people the art of the loom generations ago, and it is a talent we've nurtured ever since. Our tapestries immortalize our greatest triumphs. But it seems there's always another enemy to darken the horizon. I wonder where this was intended to hang. Wherever it was, I doubt it still stands. Only the strongest fortresses last long here.
Torek. Who's there? Up there! <laughs> Kuru, as my army fought its way across Mordor, I sensed my instincts for battle sharpening. Slaves for as long as the cunning find them useful. to be that color. Always making us change go away. A champion regarded warfare as an art form, and himself as Mordor's greatest artist. Making him my war chief meant pricking his overweening pride.
for the title, I see. This is garden variety carnage. Mediocre. Sharpen your blade, intruder. Then test yourself against Mordor's champion! Fancy yourself a true warrior, do you? You may be flashy with a blade, but I'm not so easily impressed. Your technique has flaws, and I'm about to show them to you. Words won't hurt the little shrock, but our metal will!
butcher you where you stand. You are nothing to me. Stay sharp. Few orcs could stand toe to toe with the champion and live to count their scars. Sending him into the fray was as simple as posing a challenge. Many an able warrior can be so manipulated. These Chosen will stop at nothing to secure the Hydea for their master. The Witch King cannot be allowed sight over our plans or our forces. 